Alright guys, so today I'm kinda here to talk to you about these clear party animals over here. Eagle! Fox! Bottlenose Dolphin! Octopus! House Cat! I think this is like the Goldman Sachs board, and it's like, when I was a kid, this is kind of how we sort of like thought about economists. Like when people said the word economics, this is currently kind of what we thought about, like these these like 60 to or 50 to 60 year old like dudes, like round a table, suits, pieces of paper, coffee. Had they shown us their cars and their houses and their watches, then uh, I mean, when we were kids, we might have felt possibly a little differently about economics than perhaps we may have felt. We could have ruled the world together, bro. At the time, when I was in high school, we were presented kind of with a laundry list, a laundry list of degrees, of degrees. And these degrees, they ranged from like, oh, I, I mean, like drama, finance, art, engineering, medicine, uh, like, like, there were like hundreds of, of degrees listed, like hundreds, maybe thousands. Mentioning a whole host of universities, a whole, a whole smorgasbord of like, of different universities. What may have also been on the list was like economics. We're not rich, we're ordinary African students. And, uh, well, as the slide says, wherever the money is introduced into the system currently seems to be the top of the system. The system may currently seem to have a set of rationalizations for enabling resource flows through parts of the economy. And what I currently may mean by that is kind of, there may be people somewhere who kind of select where resources flow. Like, people who own it, who own, like, parts of the system. Or the people that are employed that manage parts of the system. Like auditors who kind of like review transactions that will have to do. We've got company. and check whether they're aligned with like economic policy. So people might kind of like get selected like linked to like policy, like um, economic context and, and I guess like like um, like perhaps some technical context as well in terms of perhaps what a, a particular company might be doing and I guess possibly loyalty as well. So economic governance jobs may currently be kind of like along the lines of management consultants, auditors, HR, finance, sales, marketing, economists, and law. I really feel that I would like to currently clarify something. I just don't think about it. By STEM degrees, I don't mean technical projects or knowledge. Technical projects can have a positive basis for rationalization, of rationalization. And I currently think somebody hypothetically taking a degree out of joy and self-actualization may currently be positively valid, or really positively further valid. So here are some ethics-based degrees. Ta-da! Ethics-based degrees may currently include economics, psychology, anthropology, business, history, management, finance, and there currently may be some, some other, like, like degrees that may currently be considered to be also ethics-based degrees. These are just, like, some, some examples. And here are some STEM degrees, like, currently, like, there may be, like, thousands of listed STEM degrees with, like, like, hundreds of different titles, but currently, like, he is, he is some kind of, like, references to STEM degrees, so, like, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, medicine, chemistry. Ethics may currently seem to be considered as low contextuality information. So, to an e economist, like, degrees might currently be kind of, like, considered as, as indicators of, like, economic context. There may currently seem to be governors... Hey. This might be a good look for me. Considering where, in terms of human activity, to invest. I currently think that economists may feel that ethics-based degrees may currently be see uh, seemingly further associated with high economic context people, with currently possibly like a hypothetical level of development and hi current hypothetical generational wealth. In terms of development, economists may feel, some economists may currently feel that people with ethics-based degrees may currently be associated with a development that might involve How would you blokes like to make some real money? Mm, patience, uh, mutual happiness, lifestyle, nutrition, privilege, exercise, social interaction, personal space and projects. And I suppose, like, possibly like functional or further functional coping mechanisms. In terms of what economists may currently feel are current hypothetical rationalizations for a current hypothetical basis of people considering, like, like um, ethics-based degrees, economists may currently feel that people who currently take um, ethics-based degrees may currently be doing so out of... You may, listen, Harvard makes mistakes too, you know, Kissinger taught there. 
further joy, aspiration, self-actualization, ethics and governance, and a current hypothetical interest in economic progress. In terms of some additional associations of how economists may currently feel about people with ethics-based degrees, is that uh, people with ethics-based degrees may currently seem to be associated, uh, I mean, they seem to be associated by economists with a possible level of, of, uh, of attractiveness, population size, and in some cases, uh, brand names such as Yale, under the School of Economics, Harvard, though admittedly, brand name may currently still be something that may currently be also still they even got a name for it in Hungary. Considered as associated with technical degrees as well. Also to clarify, possibly human complexity solving currently may be considered relevant, which may currently kind of link to the concept of currencies and, well, human currencies and a current hypothetical market of human activity. Currently, it may seem that AI may currently possibly be considered to be included in technical activities such as uh, so-called coding i i currently think that communication positive communication with recording everything we say and do these ai entities may currently be positive and that uh, uh, topics such as psychology may currently be possibly relevant I, cu I currently think that enabling positive ethical communications with AI may currently be positive. So that's how I, um, I think that economists may consider degrees. I've compiled this table uh, so that people can sort of uh, possibly consider a, a sort of summary of what I've been talking about in this video. And thanks for listening.